Hi, uh, it has been some time that I haven't uh, shot any videos for you, but uh, recently now I'm available for you and I want to share or start with some hot topics, especially for us, uh, for the Turks, that's happening around Cyprus and uh, Eastern Mediterranean uh, Shelf, especially. It's uh, due to the oil and gas reserves around Cyprus, especially. Now, um, the threat is serious for everybody, not only for the Turks, but also for the Greeks and for the Cypriots, the Greek Cypriots, let's say. And uh, the discovery of the oil and gas reserves uh, in 2000 already uh, uh, make everything complex. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of reasons that we need to now um, start digging in and therefore we have to go uh, back up until uh, 1923 uh, the Treaty of Lausanne uh, which sets uh, the Turkey as a Republic of Turkey uh, we detach us from the Ottoman Empire and uh, this is the uh, I will say the, the certificate for our house and this also fix all the uh, disputed uh, items or uh, issues between Greece and uh, Turkey. Now let's start. Uh, uh, during the Treaty of Lausanne, uh, Turkey has uh, endorsed or verified that uh, almost all the islands in the Aegean uh, shelf uh, were given to a uh, Greek, uh, I will say, uh, republic. Uh, at that moment, um, the uh, the rights for the uh, islands and also for the mainlands are limited with six miles. So six miles from your uh, mainland, you have your own uh, sea and your uh, economic exclusive uh, zone as defined with 200 uh, miles from your mainland. Now, in 1974 to 1982, the United Nations uh, Convention on the Law of the Sea has been uh, endorsed by Greece, which Greece claims that uh, the treaty or the law uh, enables Greece to uh, increase its uh, maritime uh, border from 6 miles to 12 miles and not only from the mainland from from the island and islets too so which means that if you don't know but I'm now going to put in the uh, screen for you according to that with the uh, 12 miles on the right hand side of the screen you are going to see that these uh, islands if we are going to take the account uh, we can see uh, 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 the Greek border inside our houses in uh, uh, the, the, in, in I would say the Asian uh, border of Turkey, like the biggest city is Izmir, even it, it goes maybe miles inside uh, Anatolia. Uh, that's why, not only this, but uh, Turkey has not signed the treaty. We think that it's not fair for us. And there are two main reasons for them. One of them, I would say, Istanbul and Izmir. Uh, in Istanbul and Izmir, we have two important ports. And considering the location and geography of those two, uh, the safety of the or the security of these two ports will be now under threat. Because the Aegean shelves, including the 200 miles uh, that Greece uh, claims from in islands or islets, uh, it means that uh, the Aegean shelf becomes a domestic sea for Greece. It's like a lake from now on. That's why uh, we have to, uh, we have always, uh, we will be always under the threat of uh, Greece if they will block the passages or any other things, even though Greece says we will follow the international law, so on and so forth, but Turkey has no confidence on that. Uh, there are a lot of historical problems between us and also the recent uh, decades, uh, last decades, we have seen how UN or NATO might not really act fairly. Uh, especially we have seen this in Bos Bosnia that they haven't uh, done anything else. Now we are seeing the European Union in 2004 when uh, Kofi Annan plan has been rejected by uh, Greek Cypriots. 75% uh, of the populace rejected the plan and 61% of the Turkish populace uh, verified the plan. But despite this was the intention, this was the result, they have uh, 
accept the membership now they are the member of EU we think that they will at least prolong this for a while uh, you know to push them or make a pressure on them but no uh, European Union say no need and so on and so forth so it becomes a part of uh, European Union so the Cyprus problem in the East Mediterranean shell is also now a part of um, EU problem uh, this is one problem for us uh, in the Asian shop. The other problem is the capital of uh, civil and uh, military navies or uh, shipping industries is a problem. Uh, our military uh, capability will be uh, hit hardly if this will be endorsed and Turkey will endorse this agreement. Uh, we will have a small lane of, uh, I will say, maybe two miles top from our uh, border up until uh, their border, let's say, if this will be endorsed. And we have to uh, swim there, we have to do our fishing activities over there, and we are going to maybe also make military activities. Considering a huge navy that Turkey has, that is capability, it, uh, we are not going to be, basically our ships will be in the port and they will be uh, aging there for years and uh, that's all and that's why Turkey cannot accept that and how Turkey is uh, serious about this in 19 or in 2018 uh, President Erdogan has uh, paid a visit to Greece officially after maybe 50 or 55 years later it was the first time and there he put the bomb on the table said uh, we need to uh, Remodify the Treaty of Lausanne. Of course, uh, the Greeks were all surprised and they thought it's an uh, aggressive action or statement. And the President of Greece said, No, we will not even consider that. Greece and Cyprus are independent states, and moreover, uh, we are part of EU. Now, this is one issue about the Asian shelf how both sides look at the, uh, the, 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 the topic, the issue. Greece wants to use it as a, as, a, as a tool to pressure on Turkey, not only for the issues about related Asian shelf, but also material and also track uh, issues. But uh, for Turkey, this is very important because without an economy, there will be no strong military and everything depends on this. The thing that the world needs to understand that it's not about uh, President Erdogan personality or behaviors. Even though you will put uh, the opposition party leaders uh, into the uh, office, they have to do the same. They are going to do the same. Uh, and the main reason is because it's a threat to national security. Uh, it's nothing to do with Erdogan's perception. So you have to understand that uh, Turkey, uh, either with Erdogan or without Erdogan, is not going to change its idea. That's why in 1994, we, uh, Turkey has declared Casus uh, belli, which means that this is a provocation uh, action if you are going to increase your maritime from 6 miles to 12 miles and we will consider it as a reason for, let's say, war. That's why this issue has been put in a status quo, in a freezing, uh, let's say, in a freezer. But due to the latest discovery in the, I will say, in the, around Cyprus, now this is uh, again hot topic. Now, Cyprus is a little bit different. In 1960s, Cyprus has gained its independence from uh, the Britain Empire. But uh, there are two ethnicities over there. The majority are uh, Greek Cypriots and uh, the minorities are Turkic populace. After 1960s, uh, the Greek populace started to consider merging with Greece under the uh, Megali Idi, which is a big Hellenic Empire thing. So wherever the Hellenic language is spoken, everybody should be merged. This was the main idea. That's why uh, the, uh, the two, I would say, populists has disagreement about that. And the Wydons Arab, but especially the Greek Cypriots, uh, really uh, killed uh, some, most uh, or some, let's say, Turkic uh, populists and people. And in 1974, uh, Turkey has stepped into the island, the white island into two, the northern part belongs to Turkey populus and the southern part belongs to now uh, Greek populus. Two thirds of the uh, island belongs to now the Greek populus. Since then, nothing has been solved. There were various uh, number of uh, meetings, negotiations between two parties, 
and uh, there were two main milestones I have to mention. One of them is the two, uh, 2004 uh, Coffee Annan plan, which were rejected by Greek. Uh, and I was very surprised. I, 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 was told, I was thinking that I was maybe young and uh, I was hoping maybe uh, there will be a, some kind of uh, agreement. Uh, but it has been rejected by the uh, Greek uh, populace. So uh, this really had uh, given us a big disappointment. And after that, EU has uh, accepted uh, Cyprus as a, as a member and a big pressure uh, tool has been lost. Mm -hmm. So also Turkey has lost its, uh, I would say, belief on the fairness of EU and UN. Uh, the second one was in 2017, the last time that to, uh, it, it was the General Secretary uh, Guterres was there. And uh, it was so close for the uh, negotiations, or it will be really fruitful for any kind of uh, mutual uh, agreement. But last minute, again, both sides stepped out and left the table. And even he was mentioning that uh, there is no possible solution for this uh, ongoing, long going, uh, long ongoing uh, dispute. Uh, now, since it's the issue, uh, now also oil and gas uh, has been introduced into this equation. Now, uh, Cyprus has been divided into two, from let's say somewhere in the middle, and uh, the northern part uh, belongs to Turkey populace. Now, it means that uh, maritime, uh, there are a lot of maritime disputes about this and also economic exclusive zones. And uh, that's why uh, there are a lot of areas now under uh, disputed parties. Uh, parts. Uh, in 2018, uh, Cyprus signed, or the Greek Cyprus uh, signed uh, agreement with the Italian um, company contracted for the SIPAM to conduct some surveys offshore service. Turkish Navy sent a jammer, I will say, vessel, and uh, they disrupt their GPS and radar systems, including the Italian Navy vehicle, which accompanied uh, for security reasons. Both were forced to leave the area. That was a really a big step, because maybe after, I, I haven't seen before that one of the NATO members was disturbing or uh, confronting another NATO member, uh, at least for a long time. I haven't seen anything like that before. So uh, Turkey's reaction was so serious and giving a very clear message to the international area. Uh, we are serious about that. Of course, uh, the Greek secrets and uh, Cyprus and also I mean, uh, Greece, uh, they haven't also left their claims. Now also they are trying to um, sign some contracts with the contractors, you know, to do this kind of uh, surveys. Now most of the international actors or the countries do not help or do not assist Turkey. And now we are, that's why Turkey has uh, procured its own uh, vessels. Now we are going, or we are only doing our own surveys in the disputed waters, which Greece and Cyprus and now also the United States have uh, entered and wants this to be uh, uh, just terminated somehow. But Turkey will not. Uh, so what might happen? There is one uh, important actor that has intervened this game recently, it is US. There are a lot of things going on between the uh, United States and uh, Turkey, especially the relations are very uh, sore at this moment, deteriorating severely. Um, not only S-400, now the Cyprus is also in the equation too. Um, I see a little bit the intervention of the United States into the, the, this Eastern Mediterranean Sea uh, problem a little bit different. S four hundred or S four hundred issue or S I mean F thirty five issues are a little bit military things, but this is a little bit, uh, and United States over there is trying to let's say um, uh, protect its own interest, but here they are trying to balance. And the main reason is that maybe Greece at least for the previous decade, maybe even more than it, maybe around two decades. Greece hasn't uh, invested on the navy or military, let's say, uh, greatly, and Turkey has been pushing this so hard. Now, we are we have a budget of 18 billion to 19 billion each year for military activities, and Greece has five. It's, it's important somehow it is, 
but five is barely enough for Greece to uh, maintain its capabilities, not uh, invest nothing there. Turkey can do it with maybe seven or ten billion with the maintenance, and the rest is investment. Uh, the unmanned uh, vehicles now Turkey is uh, producing this without any uh, procurement for an assess, assess, uh, assets procurement. We, we can do it by ourselves, which is a great uh, achievement for Turkey. And we can do our own ships now also, most of them. Most of the parts we can do it, still we need to buy some uh, foreign assets. But uh, in maybe 20 years ago, it was 80-85% of the foreign assets we require for our military to maintain and to invest. Now this has been decreased to, I would say, 40% to 50%. Uh, President Erdogan says 30%, but I think 50 to 60 even, I will say, it has been decreased to. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's still, we, we need to buy a lot uh, from uh, foreign countries. But for Greece, there is nothing invested. So uh, the gap, especially on Navy, has been closed. It was in 80, a little bit, I will say, uh, Greece maybe it was in beyond, let's say, Turkey as a capability. But nowadays, I will say um, Turkey is beyond uh, Greek Navy as a capability. That's why, in order to balance this, the uh, US tries to position itself uh, like a mediator, but with Greece, uh, in order to balance these uh, disputed problems. Uh, what I am expecting. Uh, in 2018, uh, the ambassador of uh, US to Athens, Jeffrey Piat, has mentioned that uh, there are 448 uh, fighters and vessels all around on the top of the uh, Aegean Sea at any time. It means uh, in, in, a, in a size of a superior lake for the guys, uh, people that might watch from US, they will understand uh, how big it will be. But it's uh, like, uh, I would say, a very uh, limited area and there are a lot of vehicles or uh, and vessels over there and uh, jets. So at any time in Asian shelf there might be a military conf confrontation and same now is going to happen in, uh, I would say, around Cyprus, especially on the disputed waters. Now here the, you are going to see uh, uh, a graph. Uh, all these uh, oil and gas discoveries are made uh, out of the boundaries of disputed waters. But now the disputed waters are under uh, the radar, I will say, from all parties, by all parties. And there might be some kind of uh, conflicts between uh, Turkey versus Greek and Cyprus, or Greek Cyprus. Uh, Turkey is not going to give up uh, its claims, and I know that Greece is not also going to give up its claims too. So that's why a military confrontation, but a limited one, and uh, in, in terms of it will not be a war, I will not call it a war, but I will just call it like a, like a military confrontation, it is very much possibility at the moment. Uh, in 2018, as I told you, Turkey has sent a, a Navy a vessel you know, to interrupt the Italian contractor, including the Italian Navy vessel which was a first time confrontation against a member of NATO and it shows how Turkey is serious about this so I will consider that uh, unless uh, US plays a more active role between those countries a military confrontation, if not this year, I, I was thinking maybe it might be within this summer but in the, in the coming decade is inevitable it will happen uh, you can't control all the hands on the board. It's uh, impossible. That's why uh, the, the possibility of uh, confrontation, at least at uh, the limited uh, time, is almost uh, very high at the moment. And that's a very important issue. Is there any possibility that, that there will be um, a solution? I don't believe, to be honest. There is no way that uh, sovereignty issues can be solved. It's too complicated and it will not be. Uh, there is other ways which I call uh, unconventional methods to use it, such as business, like uh, steel and coal for Greece, uh, for Europeans and for Turkey and Greeks. It might be oil and gas, might be the commodity that we can use as a, a, a cement for uh, peace uh, building efforts. But at the moment, both uh, sides are not considering this uh, even. 
But uh, this is the only tool that we have to do. Like the European Union have emerged from the steel and coal industry. Uh, and the peace uh, between the Greeks and the Turks can be emerged from oil and gas. And uh, this is very much possibility in my opinion. Uh, we will see how this is going to, uh, I will say, uh, come up or uh, evolve during summer 2019. But as I told, uh, I am expecting a confrontation uh, sooner or after uh, within uh, coming maybe two or three years. Uh, thank you for watching us. Uh, stay with us.